evening. Guess what we're doing today? We are cooking a three course dinner in Gloria. Christmas dinner, a three course dinner, people. It is happening. My culinary skills are suddenly gonna come to life. You're gonna see something spectacular. Okay, so we're heading to the store, grabbing all the ingredients. I've never cooked like this in Gloria before, so I'm a little scared. But you know what? It's gonna be fine. I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of excited. Let's go. Let's find a better spot than this. Just do it. I'm also gonna give you a little Christmas concert on the way. Sing with me. Sing with me. So I'm ready to chef. I got my knives. I got my apron. I just bought it. This is how serious this cooking session is going to be, all right? I need full attention. Absolutely no questions. I haven't worn an apron since 2020. Hello. All right. Today we're going to be cooking with my hair down, rings on, and a little dog in my arms because I like maximum bacteria in my food. Yeah, we do. We love that. We love that. So yes, let's get ready to cook. This is going to be magical. All right, first up we have lemon posset. Crazy. Oh, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What is that? How are you in? Get out. No. Out. Get out! Get out! Do not fly me. Oh uh, no, because I'm good. Fuck off, no. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh my god, where? How? How? Oh. Crazy. Oh, it's not even insects themselves that I don't like. It's just their sheer unpredictability and speed. Get out! Get out now! I actually can't cook with it in it because I will end up killing myself. Like, I will be cutting things off if that flies at me by accident. Right, come out! I'm gonna name him Romeo. Romeo, get the fuck out, my van. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thy Romeo? Not over there. Okay, sis, you need to leave. Oh, dear God. Right, bro. Nice, I can't even hold that. Romeo's on my trousers. I found him. That little thing right there. Okay, be tactical, be tactical. Oh shit, okay. That was traumatic. Okay. Okay, back to the lemon posset. Here, let's prep. Look how organized I am. Can you even believe this? I have everything. I never have anything I need for cooking. Like, this is the first time I've baked in so long and I've never had all the right stuff. And I finally got myself the right stuff. It's just such an exciting day. Okay, so first up, we've got to juice the lemons. Then I got my baby grater. I've predicted that I'm gonna grate my finger so I got an anti-grating glove because I really have space for all of these extra unuseful one-time use things in my van. <laughs> oh my gosh this glove is giving me so much safety right now. I didn't wash it. I haven't washed anything. Maximum bacteria experience because we're in a van and I absolutely do not have the patience for anything. 
If you guys don't know, I did a ski season where I basically cooked alone every single night for like months for families that would, you know, rent the rent the villa for a week. And uh, I did literally five courses a night. So I'm not good at frying stuff in here, but I actually can cook really well. I just wanted to reclaim my status. I'm good at it. I'm good at it. Okay, we're gonna be saving this for later. Now we make the main part. All right, sugar and cream. Let's do it. Full fat cream, people. Oh my gosh, I could so do a cooking show. All right, you need 300 milliliters of cream, ladies. Ew. Cream goes in. Ah, oh, shit, that's gonna bubble up. Oh, I cannot be wasting pans like this. Okay, 75 grams of sugar. <laughs> that was the dumbest idea I've ever had in my life. I can't see anything because it's all stuck to the cream. Oh, what a tosser. Oh, my spatula. We're gonna try it. I'm actually terrified. Yeah, we're just gonna add in our sugar, stirring until it is in fact dissolved. I'm really scared because what the cream does is it puffs up and I'm terrified that it's going to go over the edge. I'm waiting for it to swell. It is not doing it. Why? Stay at that height. Do not go any further. Do not go any higher. Okay, it's doing it. Oh shit, it's going away. Oh, I got so close at the top. It's so close. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright, adding in the lemon juice. Ew. Perfect. Oh shit. All right, we're mixing it all then. Oh, I should so do a Nigella Lawson style video. So yes, after this, we're going to be pouring these into our ramekins. In fact, I don't have ramekins today. I actually have um, glasses because that was all that was available in the shop. Plus, I think it looks cuter. Ah, oh, it smells lovely. If only you could smell it, it's like a lemony, sugary, like creamy vibe going on and I am living for it. Continuing with my British chefness. Okay, so now we're going to pour our posset into the pots and nothing less. Now here it can get a little tricky if you're not very dexterous like most of the population, unfortunately. For me, it's very easy. However, this could be challenging for some. In we go. Should have definitely washed the cups first. I'm gonna just quickly give them a rinse. Cause I don't want to die by cyanide today. Okay, next pot. That does not look full enough. No, we're going to do one full one for dessert display purposes. Yeah, these two are gonna have a lot less in them. Okay, let's just look at this one. Here is our lemon posset. And we're going to sprinkle it with lemon. Oh, you are a sexy thing. Okay, now that we have our posset, which I think uh, resembles the word for baby sick in French, but doesn't smell like it. So here it is, you can't really see it. You can see her at the end. She's a masterpiece. All right, moving on. Right. Those are later on's problem. Moving on. Oh shit, I need to make the shortbread. Wait. Mm. All right, taking a brief interlude to tell you about something exciting. <laughs> oh my god, that hurts so much. Oh my god, ow. Are you ready? Are you ready? Wait. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Have you ever wondered how to keep track of the days, the months, and the years? They go by so quickly. So quickly. But now you don't have a problem with an Ami in a Van calendar. This is a 2024 calendar. You can hang it on your branch in your van. You can hang it from your chandelier hook. So, if you would like to know how to function and plan and have some ways to do all of that and just generally see me every day for the next year. An Ami in a Van calendar 
is what you need. All right, so this is the baddie. This has been requested quite a lot. I never thought about making a calendar. Apparently that's a big thing. What would I know? These are pictures from throughout the years and our journey together. It's all full of goodness. So if you feel like buying an Amy and a Van calendar, the link is in the description. Unfortunately, there is no discount code. So yeah, if you want a calendar, I've got one. I'm gonna be keeping it up here until I lose it. I'm gonna give it about a week and a half. It's just so cute. Um, I'm proud of it. Yeah, so link's in the description. If you want one of these. Okay, let's get back to cooking the dinner because uh, I, I can smell like burning plastic. I need to piss. Right, next up we have the vegetables. Let's chop them. Okay, it's potato time. Let's go back to our British chef mode. <laughs> okay, we're gonna peel the potatoes really damn quickly. Now, some don't like to peel potatoes, but I find it rather therapeutic. You can simply feel all your worries and traumas float away. Okay, potatoes are peeled. Let's chop them. And there we have ready to roast potatoes. Take some notes. Yeah. In they have gone. Next up is a carrot. I only have two and they're gonna shrink to nothing, but it's, it's more the notion, you know? Now for a parsnip, in case you don't know what a parsnip is, it is this. I have not had a parsnip in so long. This is like a chronically, I want to say a chronically British thing is like parsnips, but am I might just being stupid? Like does everywhere have parsnips? Because I was recently under the impression that everybody had like Yorkshire puddings and like a Sunday roast was a Sunday roast the same as it is in England. Newsflash, it is not. The way I was sh sh shaken to my core. I even ever cut a parsnip before. Well, that was easy. Next up, onion. Next, we're going to chop the onion, making sure that it does not burn our eyes. And fun fact, if you chop an onion correctly, which most of you do not, it won't actually burn your eyes. Blinking about the tears, dear Jesus, is happening. Garlic. <laughs> Garlic, a key ingredient to anything you want to be successful to eat. Okay? If you're not using garlic, honestly, it's punishment enough. Depriving yourself of garlic like that must be a truly miserable existence. Anyways, let's continue. Whoa, it's getting warm in here. Okay, time to try and understand the oven that I'm about to cook in and probably ruin everything in. It's gonna be great. If I had a real oven right now, this would turn out amazingly. But since I don't, it might turn out averagely. But that's okay. No, it's not. I don't like average. Okay, our uh, delightful concoction of boiling vegetables is ready to be seasoned. Where's my glove? In the van, I need to do things a little differently. So we have a strainer inside a saucepan in here because it will melt my pipes. I have about 400,000 potatoes. I have a few too many, it's fine, it's all good. Where's my pot? Get a bowl. So next I'm going to shake my carrots, potatoes, and parsnips in my colander until they develop a rough exterior. They are ready to go in the bowl. Next. <laughs> okay, it's time to season the vegetables. Secret to great potatoes is just to add as much olive oil as humanly possible to them. And I make sure they're all coated. 
I'm going to add our Herbe de Provence. Top tip, use Herbe de Provence if you want. Flavoursome shit. Garlic. I forgot the rosemary. I forgot the rosemary. I forgot the rosemary sprigs. Oh. Oh dear god. It hurts. That's not good at all, is it? What? That was Gordon Ramsay. Right, let's add this flavorless shit into the oven. I have too many potatoes. It is fine. It's all good, people. Ooh. Oh my god, I've made so many. What am I doing? No, there's no such thing as way too many roast potatoes. There's not. So really, I have undermade them. There is a no lid on that. We're gonna say goodnight to these guys. I wish I had an oven. Well, that is the closest thing, so if they don't turn out crispy, bad things will happen. Back into my chef mode. Okay, so now that the potatoes are roasting, we're going to have to get something else on the go. We have the meat. Okay, we have a lamb shank and duck. Obviously. Obviously. Okay, lamb shank, pan, plus H2O. I think I'm gonna run out of water. No, I'm not. Positivity. I don't think that's gonna fit. Uh, there we go. That's more like it. Is it? Is that more like it? I don't know. It's not fitting. You know what? I think it was better off in this pan. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's getting spicy in here. Two flames, no ventilation. I can't wait to die. All is looking good. Nice and crispy. I don't really know how. They're like fizzing. I don't really understand what's going on. Stuffing. Paxo. Let's do it. Is stuffing a British thing? Is it solely in England? Let me know. Because I can't find it in France. It, this was in the British section of the shop. It should be celebrated more. If you if you haven't tried stuffing, try and get some. It'd be good. Okay, I mean, stuffing is a British tradition. It's iconic to the UK. So we're, of course, doing it. I don't like the packet mix. You know, I like to make everything from scratch. But you know, Paxo is Paxo, so... I had a kettle somewhere. Hold up. Right, stuffing's doing its thing. I'm gonna leave that for a second. Okay, I'm running out of hobs, which is quite stressful. It is not fine. Okay, sorry for the extraction. It is highly necessary. So next we have my Margaret de Cana in the pan. She ready to go. All right, stuffing's here. Duck's prepared in the pan. We have lamb shank shanking away we have potatoes on this random pan is chilling it's all right oh i've got to do my appetizer dates bacon don't come for me just watch and observe we have the dates where is everything i need <gasps> oh my god i left it over the cooker My phone is baked. It is so hot. Oh shit, that cannot be good. Putting in the fridge, it feels like a dumb idea, but I don't know what else to do. <laughs> ah! Okay, so all we're gonna do for this is just taking the stones out of each date. I would never forget the time I opened one of these and there was like a maggot inside it. It was just horrifying. Right, next we're gonna get the bacon and we're going to wrap it delicately round the medjool date. All right, next up, we're just gonna put these little guys through them. All right, let's do it. Laughing all the way, ha ha ha. All right, now let's check the potatoes. Let's see how they're doing. Yeah, they're done. Excellent. 
Let me show you. Okay, a few are a little bun, but we're looking good. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. It's up good looking. A cute moment when you don't actually have anything to lift the oven off the thing with, so we're using we're using these. And here. Sexy. Okay, we're good. Duck is going on. These are the appetizers, so they need to go on now, but I don't have enough rings. Well, shit. Okay, they're gonna have to go on after that. Ooh, that is a spicy little bit. Looking cute, okay. All right, next up, we're gonna take the stuffing. This is the crucial part, okay. In we go, lovely stuff thing. <laughs> Let's see if these guys can can get along. Try it again. I don't know if, how well this is gonna cook, but it's the only way everything's gonna go. Fire. Oh, All right, roast potato reveal. There's a few burnt ones, but that wasn't me. That was the Omnia oven. Baby, looking good. And I smell amazing. All right, next up we have the duck. All right, now we got the stuffing cooking real quick. And then we got the lamb shank, that's almost done. Appetizers in, desserts in the fridge. I need to make another dessert for absolutely no reason other than I want to. <laughs> All right, let's make it. Okay, a lamb shank is coming out. Oh God, the bone's stuck. Okay, you know what that's gonna stay in there for the moment. Lovely. I'm making brioche bread and butter pudding but it's chocolate it's really fun cinnamon brioche caster sugar butter let's do it 100 grams of sugar okay now we need chocolate all right popping all the chocolate in boom okay we're gonna pop it on top of that one that we're just using for the lamp mixing it all up well and good well and proper. Excellent shit. Right. Everything's getting cold. <laughs> Grab as many as we can fit in the thing. Right, we're just gonna actually rip this in half because we are savages. Now just neatly place the brioche round on top of each other so they're gently overlapping. We've got a nice Christmas garland going on, a nice wreath. All right, butter's almost gone. We're almost there, so I'm gonna add this cinnamon. Okay, oh my gosh, I have to show you the scene right now. It is just gorgeous. Stuffing and everything is ready. Chocolate is good. Potatoes, duck, this is ready to go. Lamb shank's kind of fallen off, but that's fine. Okay, we're almost there. But, got a few final things. Put this here, and we're gonna we're gonna coat the brioche. We're gonna coat the brioche in that. And she goes. Oh my god. She's ready. I'm just gonna leave her out for a minute to soak, and we're good. Okay, now comes the complicated part of heating everything up. Presentation, bitches, is what it's all about. Let's present this extraordinarily well. Stuffing needs a touch longer, so let's prep the other stuff. Let's move you over here for this. All right, trying to keep everything warm. All right, let's get some honey on these. I think that'll be good. Alright, let's do this thing. No, not my eyes. Ah. Okay, we're gonna put some cherry jam on. I know it's a strange choice, but honestly, just trust, trust the process on this one. Alright, presentation kind of sucks, but look what we got! How cute is this? 
fully made in Gloria. What? 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 All right, so I made so much that I'm gonna go get these for my mom and dad. They've come to visit their next door. I said I had too much, so they're gonna have to come and eat this. But it's good because look at all the food. It looks so nice as well. Should I go give it to them? Wait, I can't take you with me. One sec. Let's go. They're literally, oh, you can't even see the van. They're just here, hold up. Here you go. Thank you very much. Good? No, oh, man. Bang on. <laughs> Thank you. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna chuck the bread and butter pudding on. There is a duck, but I have it. I haven't finished cooking properly. I'm just kind of chilling for a second. This looks so good. Oh my god. Let's try this. It's the date wrapped in bacon. Sweet, salty, crunchy make these dates just buy dates and wrap them in bacon cook them 15 minutes 10 minutes in the oven 180 you can't go wrong this has literally gone perfectly minus my ug got oil on it so i'm not very happy and it doesn't have protector it's kind of my own fault to be honest but oh hello you want some too okay hold up All right we gotta try it first I have not lost my touch. Could be warmer, but still pretty warm. You want it? It's lamb, Gigi. Okay, great. <laughs> Cherry jam, awesome addition. I guess it's like cranberry, but I just thought it would look nice on the plate. It tastes good too. Christmas in a van. I made this in a freaking van. There should be awards for this shit. As you can see, there's plenty on this plate that is absolutely divine to look at and to eat. The, the stuffing is of a perfect moisture. The parsnips are cooked through perfectly. The light crunch on the outside. Cherry jam slapping. Carrots cooked through. Lamb shank cooked through thoroughly, nice and tender. Perfection. Although I don't have actually any greens. <laughs> I realized I forgot all vegetables apart from the carrot and the parsnip and this piece of parsley so I mean just pretty much all of your five a day in this plus the cherry jam that's a good one what's up Gigi should we eat you for dinner should we put you in a pan oh no we're not gonna do that you sure you don't want some you don't want that Oh my god. Um, there is that duck in the frying pan if you would like it. Ooh. I wish I had a bigger plate. <laughs> well, you have two desserts, so save space. Okay, okay. I'm such a success. Mm -mm -mm. Merry Christmas to all. Oh my gosh, I'm literally eating Christmas dinner and it's not Christmas yet. This is wrong. This is so wrong. But it feels so right. I will give myself credit. It is good. It's not as good. It could have been like, it could have been better. Obviously, if I had an oven, like an actual oven, the potatoes would be crispier. If I had goose fat, it would be so much better. And I probably would have roasted a chicken. Would have had Yorkshire puddings. Out of two gas hob rings and like a weird oven thing, we did pretty good. And there's not even a bomb site in here. Well, it is a bit, but I'm gonna finish this, and then we're gonna get dessert. Let's present it, bitch. I also just took my other dessert out. It is looking sexy. Let's try. It tastes like cheesecake, but lighter. Excellent. I again have two extra, so I'm just gonna deliver the goods. <laughs> Tiny bit burnt on one side, cause I had to, I turned it, the volume up full by accident on the thing and I didn't realize. So that was super chic, but the rest of it's good too. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. What an absolute clown. 
chocolate. Cho oh, that is so grim. Oh god. <laughs> that does not look very presentable. Okay, it kind of looks like a steak, but we're gonna roll with it. Final masterpieces. Go take them in. All right, so I'm gonna be really extra and make little Christmas shapes out of these. <laughs> I don't know how this is gonna go. Crescent. There we have the bread and butter pudding, served in a very non-traditional manner. We have a heart, a star, and a moon, which you can't see because of the mint leaves, strategically. All right, let's try. <laughs> I can't believe I made this, this is so cute. <laughs> Listen to the crunch, and then it's ooh, ultra soft in the middle. Hold up. Oh fuck me! It just is like that. Oh, all right. We're done. I get it. I am so cool. <laughs> there is so much mess, but I, I actually pulled it off. Does that look really bad? All right, it probably does. But let's just roll with it. This was a challenge I've wanted to do for ages, but I just can think of an occasion to do it for. Christmas is a great one. I absolutely nailed that. How did you, how did you find it? I do not want to do this washing up. Genuinely my first big washing up in years. Can you even imagine that? Oh, <laughs> I don't want to do it. It's fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. I hope you enjoyed this video, something a little bit different. Let me know as always. If you want my calendar, link is in the description. It's a baddie. And yeah, I will see you next week, I think. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>